Hello, Evelyn. Well, Hello. welcome back to those who are watching. So this is our uh, second video with Evelyn. So I would like to know, Evelyn, I know you've been, like me, you've been working a lot with women. So what is it that you like the most about working with women? Just could you tell us and give us some examples, please. Oh, okay. Um, well, uh, like you, I work with both women and men, but I do really enjoy working with women. And I think that one of the things that I love about it the most is that I see it's working with horses is an opportunity for women to look at relationship in a different way. Women are really relationship oriented much more so than men. And when we're working with horses, we have to approach them um, differently than we approach other people. And that has a lot to do with their size, their nature, because they are prey animals. They speak a different language than us, although they're very similar to us. They're very emotionally oriented, they're socially oriented, they're relationship oriented like us. But their responses to the world are different. And so for women, there's a natural tendency to want to go to love with horses first. I love horses, or when you're around a horse, even if you're not really um, someone who's very knowledgeable about horses, but being around horses, it elicits a lot of heart energy for us. Horses have huge heart energy, and so it, it starts to entrain ours with them. But one of the things that women can get into a lot of trouble with is reaching for love before respect. Mm. And before trust. So one of the aphorisms that I like to remind women is respect before trust, trust before love. So it kind of sets us on a different platform in terms of thinking about our relationships and how we are. And one of the interesting things about horses that's um, different than people is that horses are exactly what you see. People can hide who they really are. But horses are really what you see is what you get. Most people don't really understand horses fully. And again, it's that prey nature that's a bit of a mystery for us. So it's interesting for people to understand that horses like to play leadership games all the time. So people can mistake um, behavior that looks like I want to love you as you want to love me. That can actually be from a horse a leadership game that says, I'm just going to push you off your space and take over here. So it's, it's really an interesting education for women to start to relate to horses and take that back into their relationships with people to stand back and have a look at, do I have respect in this relationship or in this moment? Do I trust and do I have trust in this relationship or in this moment? And therefore, is there really grounds for real love? Not to say that you can't have love, but love without those two other components can be a real trap, especially for women. Wow. Hmm. Wow, this is so brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Respect, trust, love. And I can see, I can see absolutely clearly how it's resonating with most of the women that I know around are just jumping right on I mean, yeah. love, love and yeah. uh, heart and feeling and compassion and the relationship is the, really the priority. And then we, okay, what about uh, my limits? What about uh, my own needs? What, what about my boundaries? Yeah. Boundaries. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yes. So working with horses is really good for working with boundaries and consciously with awareness. So I see that a lot with women um, and it can be very surprising for women and um, it can be a big challenge for some women who are afraid to be assertive, who are confused about what is the difference between assertiveness and aggressiveness. So working with horses is a wonderful way to experiment and lean into what does it take for me to be assertive without being aggressive. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank You're you, Evelyn. Okay. Very
that's all for today, folks. Uh, click on the next one and you'll see some of the results and the takeaways that you can expect from our workshop together. Goodbye. Thanks, Marie.